Hi guys, welcome to SHS Tech Solutions. Today in this tutorial, we discuss on the topic is how to download and install MySQL server for, for Windows operating system. What we discuss on today, how to download and install MySQL server for Windows operating system. Before going to topic, I will say one thing. SHS Tech Solution provides all the web technologies like HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, AngularJS, and the digital market tutorials like SEO, SMO, SMR. Complete free web technologies and digital marketing tutorials for them. SHS Tech Solutions. So guys, please like, share my videos, and please subscribe my channel. If you click bell icon, also you can directly get notifications to your Gmail. Okay, guys, I'm going to topic. What we discuss today, how to download and install MySQL server for Windows. My SQL, my SQL for Windows 64 bit. Click on here. Next, here is your default shows the latest version, latest updated version 8.0.32. Suppose we want to download any particular version, you can click on Arcus. Here it will show the different different versions of MySQL server. Suppose you want to select MySQL 5.7.030, you can download it. MySQL downloads. Click on this. Almost. Okay. Now you can select the desktop data version. MySQL 0.3.1. You see here, this shows the zip files. So you are not using the zip files. I am asking, I want to MSI files. Minus per download. First one is the MySQL installer. Yeah, MySQL installer. This is the MSI format. Suppose you want to select any of our world version or any particular version here i am download the 5.7.30 and this is the 5.7.30 you can click here on download button Yeah, it takes two minutes of time. Let's be patient.
write them. I'm going to downloads folder. Downloads folder. Uh, this is the 5.7.30 version. Next, I'm uh, going to talk less. See, next, continue. Okay. Next, here, I'm install this. My SQL installer 5.7.30. Click on S button. with MS. Right here, my SQL servers, I'm adding the my SQL server 5.7.30 so for 64 bit, select and add. Next, I am selecting the MySQL workbench, select and add. Next, MySQL notepad, select and add. Okay. Next, MySQL for Excel, select and click on add. This arrow symbol, it is automatically added. Now, MySQL Visual Studio already I have. Yeah, okay. Next, MySQL router. Okay, my SQL connectors for Windows 64 bit. Next connectors. Okay. Next connector J. Okay. Next connector of net. Okay. Next to my SQL documentation. Next, click on, click on it. Next, okay, no problem. Click on next. You still have warnings with your selector box. Are you sure what to continue? Yeah, yes. Next, ready to install. Click on next good button.
Okay, total this execution is completed. I'm gonna click on next button. Next, click on a uh, next button. Okay, standard one. Click on next button. Here, development computer. Okay, here I'm changing the port number. Why? Because I'm changing the port number. I am also installing the XAMPP server. XAMPP server also. Both are the same port number. So that's why I'm changing the port number 3305. Okay. And click on next. Here, default the password is maybe root. Is it working or not? I, uh, I don't know. Default password is root. I'm given root. What is wrong? Here I am giving the password is root. Default password root is working. Next, I am click on next button. Okay, I am click on next button. And next, execute this total all of this. Click on finish. Next, here, localhost, localhost, port number 3306, 3306, username is root, password also root, R -O -O -P, password is also root. Okay, read and write. Once I will check, next click on finish. Click on next, next select and give a password or go to root. Next, check this connection successful. Okay, this connection successful. Okay, next click on next button. Next, click on next root. Click on finish. Next, finish. Okay. Simply search for MySQL workbench. MySQL. This is the MySQL workbench graphic user interface. This is the graphic user interface. Here, I am clicking on MySQL connections. Close, close this. Okay. Here, left side, this shows the default schemas like employees, Sakila, students, test or Total, these are the default schemas. Okay. Student details, columns, and excess. Total, these are the default schemas. Okay. Next, another one is the client. Next, another one is the client. Search for MySQL command line client. This is one is the MySQL command line client. Okay. Enter password or OOT root. Password is root. Next, here. Okay. Next, click on, sorry, type show databases. Show databases total these are the default databases here um, i am type the command show databases and next end with the semicolon and enter 
show databases so total these are the default databases so this one is the graphical user interface and this one is the command line client okay I hope we all are understand how to download and install MySQL Server. If you have any doubts or comments, please below the video. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.